Hello, in this tutorial we're going to add some background music to our game. So the background music is going to be playing and looping in the background, and this is going to be different from event-driven music or sounds like an explosion or a missile being fired. The background music is going to continually be played, and it's actually pretty easy to make use of this. We just need to add a using statement to the beginning of our program. We're going to use the sce.playstation.core audio and that will give us the ability to process both background music and event driven audio in our games. Now we're going to have a couple of things that we're going to need to do. Inside of our initialize we're going to start things off and start playing the music. But before we do that we're actually going to have to bring in this asset, this background audio into our game. So here we've got a mp3 background song and I want to copy that into my assets folder for my Starshooter program. And then of course we're going to come back into the development environment and right click on assets and add that file. The background song.mp3 is now a part of our project. And if we go to the properties of this, you can see that the build action for our PNGs is by default content but the mp3 that we just brought in, the build action is marked as none. Now if we were to try to run this and compile it, the background song is still in our project, but it's not compiled into or it's not brought into that final solution when we run. So there's going to be a problem there and it won't be found. To avoid that, we're going to set the build action to be content. And what that's going to do is it's going to mark this background song as content that should be copied over into the assets folder when the program is run. So make sure that you set that build action to be content for your background song mp3. And then what it'll do is be copied into that assets resource that we can make use of later. So let's do that now. In the bottom of our initialize, after we've created the missiles and the enemy collections and so forth, what we'd like to do is use this BGM, which is background music data type. It's a class that is included because we're using that audio API from the PlayStation Mobile SDK. So BGM, capital B BGM, is the background music. And I'm going to create a new lowercase BGM and set that equal to a new BGM. And I'm going to point it to the application slash assets slash background song dot mp3 and that's that background song asset that we just brought in. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do once I have the background music is create a background music player and I'm going to create a new variable up here inside of my app main. It's going to be a private static capital B G M player and I'm going to call it lowercase bgmp, short for background music player. So once I've established that variable bgmp, I can make use of it here. I've got a background music, but I need to actually create a background music player. Very similar to loading in a texture 2D and then assigning that into a sprite. I've loaded this background music, but I need to place it into a player. So the next thing I'm going to do is bgmp. It's going to be equal to the background music BGM dot create player. So I'm going to create a player based on this audio that I brought in. And then now I'm going to be able to play this. So I could say now that I've got my background music player, look at all the things I can do. I can ask it what is the length of what you're playing, I can tell it to play, I can tell it to pause, I can ask its current position, I can resume, I can stop and so forth. I can also set the volume there. So what I'd like to do is actually set loop to be equal to true, meaning at the end of when it plays I want it to start playing again. And with background music it makes sense to have the loop turned on or the looping to be true. So I'm going to set the background music player's loop property to be true. And then background music I'm going to tell it to play. Background music player play. And that's going to start playing the music and it's just going to continually iterate and loop as we go. So let's run this now. 
and here you can hear the audio playing and I can still shoot and all the collision is still working but we have this nice background audio and it really improves the quality of the game to have audio in it so make sure that whenever you're developing a game make sure you've got that audio included there Okay, we could listen to this for quite a while and if you do you'll you'll notice that in fact it is looping the sound once the end of that mp3 uh, gets gets done it's going to continue to play it again but it's pretty easy to create audio in your your programs just import your asset make sure that that asset build action is marked as content like we did here and then create your background player background music player bgmp or bgm player that i call bgmp and here then load that new asset into the background music and then create a player based on that background music uh, you can set loop to true you can also bgmp dot volume you could set that to be equal to some value if you wanted to address the volume up or down just change that value between zero and one there and then when you want the music to play just call the background music player dot play function and that's going to initiate that we could bind a button press to tell the music to stop playing when you press a, a particular button but for our purposes we can start the music playing in the initialize function when the game begins and it's just going to loop continually so long as you're playing the game in the next tutorial we'll add the event driven audio so that when a missile is fired it'll play a, a small a wave file or when a collision between a missile and an enemy ship occurs it will play an explosion sound but that'll do it for this tutorial on how to play background music and an mp3 as your program runs